Hey guys, welcome once again to It's Time to Play, and as always, we're going to be taking a classic console game, we're going to relive some of the nostalgia, talk a bit of nonsense, but most importantly, we're going to have some fun. And today, we're going to be playing Top Gear for the Super Nintendo. This came out in 1992, and this is one of my favourite games growing up. Now, I know I sometimes appear to say that quite loosely, but this really is, and even 26 years later after its release, I still play this quite often. It's just a simple pick-up-and-play racing game. We're going to quickly set up our profile here. Oh, looks like we've got coin ready to go still. And, uh, you got a choice of manual automatic. We're going to pick auto. It's not too hard to use manual, but for the sake of the video, we'll keep things simple. I like that control scheme there. Now you've got a choice of four cars. Each have their strengths and weaknesses. Some are quicker, but some are less efficient on fuel. Uh, I like to pick the blue car here. It seems to be the most balanced as far as handling, tires, fuel, everything goes. So it's just a matter of picking something that's going to work out to uh, how you'd like to play. So uh, we'll get into the game now. We'll do a few races here. And uh, as you can see, this track, Vegas, USA, is very, very basic. This is a round-the-world racing game. Uh, you do a group of four races, and uh, once you complete those races, if you can finish in the top three, I think, in the, in the championship, you'll go on to a new country with new tracks and new challenges. So here we go. I want to get a move on here. So you always start from last place, really. Well, you start based on your, your last race's finishing position, actually. If you start from the back of the field, uh, you will start at the front of the field in your next race, if that makes sense. Um, and then vice versa. So if you're always finishing at the top of the field, you're always going to start at the back. Uh, it's just some kind of handicap system this game has. I don't know why, but we'll go with it. Um, so it's, it's only a quick race, this one, just a few laps. I really love the pacing on this, and the music just goes absolutely uh, amazingly with the, the sense of speed that this game has. Um, so you've got a, a, an accelerate button, a, a brake button, you've also got uh, a turbo button. You get three turbos every race. Uh, some, some races you'll need to do a pit stop, which involves a lot of strategy handling your fuel and, and when you're going to use your turbos, things like that. Um, so even though this is a casual pick up and play game, there is some strategy in this which is really, really good. Now as you can notice, there's a, a split screen here, you're actually racing against uh, a computer controlled opponent, which I guess is your rival, right he's using the red car, uh, as you can see we pick the blue car. Um, it's always good to just finish a heavy rival for your own sense of satisfaction, if anything. And uh, that was actually a pretty ordinary result, uh, kind of you snooze you lose kind of thing, I forgot to use all my turbos and it kind of cost me that race. Uh, but that's okay, we can catch up. I think as long as you finish in the top five every race, you'll go on to the next track. And uh, cool, we're gonna race in LA now. The first three races in this are quite quick. Uh, they're just basic three lap races or four lap races, depending. Uh, and then in the fourth race in this circuit, the USA circuit, is actually the pit stop race. So we might do that one as well, just to show you how that uh, controls and plays. Um, as you advance tracks, some of them get a little bit more tricky and challenging. For some reason, you might see like uh, little obstacles in the road and stuff too. As you can see there, there was a whole pile of rocks that you need to keep on the other side of the road, otherwise you'll crash into them and it'll slow you down. And uh, yeah, that's about the gist of Top Gear, guys. Now, I have a lot of nostalgia for this game. As I said, I've been playing this for 26 years, ever since I first rented it in 1992. I've just not been able to get enough of this. Uh, this used to be the, the party game I play with friends. It might sound pretty crazy because most people pull out the Mario Kart. Uh, but I used to pull out the, the Top Gear when I first moved down at home with my friends. This is already going back to the year 2000, so the game was already old. Uh, but we still found a lot of fun. We played on the PC with joysticks. And uh, we'd even have a board up on the wall. And uh, we'd keep a tally of how many races each of us would win or lose. And uh, we'd reward ourselves or punish us, ourselves accordingly, you know what I mean? So, just such amazing memories of this game. And uh, it goes beyond just playing it. It was actually a social experience for me as well. So I've already used two nitros here. And, uh, oh, it's alright. We, we crashed, but we somehow managed to get back in a third. And uh, we've got one turbo left, so we're going to have to pick the proper strategy for that one, I think. Uh, just pushing ahead. Using your brake occasionally in this game is absolutely essential, guys. Uh, in the early tracks, you can probably do the whole uh, release the throttle trick. Uh, but the, the tracks are going to get a lot more challenging and require um, just some simple common sense, I suppose you could say. 
Alright, I'm trying to find the straight here. It helps, it really helps to, to look at the mini map to know when to actually use your turbos. As you can see there in the top left hand corner. And it looks like we've got a straight coming up here. And uh, damn, I just absolutely fudged this race by hitting a few dudes. So it looks like uh, my rival at the bottom is going to beat me again. I don't know what's going on. Like, he does have the advantage of top speed, but at the same time, uh, the red car does not handle well at all. Again, because each car stat has a fuel stat and a tyre stat. So you can have all that top speed, but there's no point in having it if you can't stick to the road, which is why I like to use blue car. But as I said, it's a matter of uh, preference. Alright. So going on to the third race here. Now, another three uh, lap races. You can see this has got a nice long back straight here, so hopefully we can take full use of uh, the turbos again. The music in each race is amazing. There's only four race uh, soundtracks, but they're all really, really good. Uh, so as I said, there's like four tracks per circuit. Each has their own soundtrack and uh, all adds to the experience. Crap. I love the night races in this too. The graphics are really, really nice for such a small game. Uh, the file size of this game is actually like uh, 500 kilobytes. So uh, it, it just literally barely qualifies uh, as far as most Super Nintendo games go in size, if that makes sense. So uh, yeah, to have such a nice looking game in such a little package is really impressive to me. Uh, just zoning out with the music. I really like the music, as I said. <laughs> the game can be a little bit frustrating at times. Uh, some of these, uh, the further you go up the grid, like it's not so bad when you're, you're racing through the back, but when you get up uh, to the, the front of the pack, it always feels like the cars are somewhat getting in the way, if that makes sense. I mean, I suppose that's supposed to be part of the challenge, uh, but whenever you whack someone, it's always quite costly, so sometimes you just want to break your controller. But more often than not, this is always incredibly fun. Oh, damn. At least, at least we're beating our rival. I kind of used that car to my advantage then. I just sort of smacked uh, the back of him and just slowed down a little bit around the corner. That's sort of an old school trick, isn't it? You know, just quickly use the turbo. Should be careful. I kind of used that halfway down the straightway this time. And we're in first place. We've still got two to go, so we should be pretty good this race. There's all sorts of other countries you can race into, like the UK and stuff as well. Uh, this is the most stock standard set of, of courses as I brought up before. Most of the other tracks do require pitting and things like that. And uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video, we're going to have our first pit stop race come up next. But yeah, if racing games are your thing, uh, this is... I mean, this is reasonably well known on Super Nintendo, but not as well known as Mario Kart, F-Zero and things like that. So uh, if you are looking for a new racing game to play and you haven't heard of this one, I can't recommend it enough. It is such a great casual racing game and it's split screen for two players. Alright, so we've got our last track, six lap race, and we'll finish off on this one. Now we do need to pit in this race, you'll actually see the fuel gauge does matter this time. As you can see it's on the right hand side there. Uh, your opponent. Uh, is going to have to pit as well. Now, what's really funny about uh, these races is the AI and the computer controlled opponents is usually really, really dreadful. And uh, more often than not, depending on the car that they're using, uh, your rival actually runs out of petrol a lot of the time and doesn't even finish the race. It's absolutely crazy. As you can see, you've got to be real careful there. There's a lot of uh, obstacles on the road. I don't know why in a race that there's barricades in the middle of everything, but it's just what it is. <laughs> our rival again, try and get past. Um, what's, what's really frustrating about these pit stop races as well, guys, is you have to pit and your rival has to pit, but the other computer controlled opponents, for whatever reason, don't have to pit. So you can go in the lead and then uh, you'll take a pit stop and you might drop back down in 8th or ninth place or whatever, and you'll have to play catch up all over again. So in these pit stop races, compared to all the computer controlled opponents, you're very handicapped. Um, I don't mind the challenge, to be honest, depending on the difficulty, of course. We're playing on amateur today, uh, but once you play in the more difficult uh, difficulty levels, it's definitely going to be quite tedious. Okay, carrying on. Trying to keep an eye on my petrol. We're still sitting pretty there. And 
this. It's a memory game, really, just remembering where all the obstacles are. You have to make sure you brake when you go in the pits too, otherwise you'll fly right through pit lane, which is incredibly frustrating. And there's a very small window to be able to hit the, the pit lane as well. Um, so you'll find you'll have to slow down way too much just to make sure you enter, if that makes sense. You'll probably see when we do it as well, anyway. I'm being really, really clumsy here. try and save all these uh, turbo boosts, I think, for the last couple laps. So we may as well get this pit stop over with uh, the section here. There we go, see, I kind of clutched it. There we go. We'll just uh, completely fill up. Again, when you want a pit, it's all about strategy and your choice of preference. But now I know we can just play catch up and not worry about it for the rest of the race. We've got a full tank here. music in this level again is just such an adrenaline rush and uh, it really suits the atmosphere of having to catch up through the field. I don't know who composed the sound in this game but it just works. <laughs> uh, I think once this video is finished I'm going to uh, carry on and play it some more of my own time. Uh, this is one of those games where uh, absence really makes a heart grow fonder. As long as you finish in the top three, you'll advance. I think that's in the championship overall. I think a fourth place finish is okay as long as you finish top three. And uh, oh shit, we're out of nitro already. Excuse my language. I thought I had one left. I'm kind of daydreaming. That's okay. Just try and be careful. Ah oh, damn. Doesn't look like he's gonna. Oh no! Doesn't look like our rival's gonna run out of fuel today. Oh, it's going to cut it close, actually. You might literally uh, roll over the finish line. I just want to overtake one more person, then I'll feel a little bit more relieved. Preferably this dude. Oh, there we go. Oh, gosh, that was close. Oh, this is such an awesome game. Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. This is Top Gear on the Super Nintendo. If you like racing games, I can't recommend this enough. This is one of my all-time favorites. And we're just going to roll over here. And I qualified second. That's all right. That's not too bad. I might just need a little bit more practice. But thanks for joining us once again, guys. As always, if you like what we do, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us. And we'll see you next time at OneCoin Only.